Hi, this is Guys Games and Beer, and this is Drunken Larry, and I'm finally awake. It only took till 5 o'clock at night to get awake and moving, because this con has been long. But Disembodied voices we laughing. I love it. <laughs> and I'm with... This is Brian playing the role of Rob Benson for the afternoon, and I am here with... Matt Pigeon with Evercon. Welcome. How are we doing so far today? Doing excellent. I love this con. So those of you that are hardcore G2B fans know that we've started our international tour at Evercon this year. And we're sandwiching it with the other end at with Gamehole Con. So, which means after this, Evercon's next. Yeah. So that's tell such us. good news. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's, that's what I like to hear, Larry. At uh, Evercon, um, what's to say about Evercon? Now, uh, we are central Wisconsin and the Wausau area. Um, we are a ever growing convention. We're hoping to hit that 2000 mark this year uh, for our 25th anniversary convention. Uh, it's our, our Silver Dragon year, uh, which uh, I don't have, I don't have the shirt on for it today, but uh, our logo or our, our design for this year. Uh, done by the amazing Dan Beasel, um, has this cool like silver dragon standing on a horde of board games and video games and all that. Um, and so our tagline this year is hoarding fun for 25 years. Um, nice. Yeah. So yeah, um, we are Evercon is everybody's con. It's a shorten for that us uh, because we have something for everybody. We have uh, your board games and video games and tabletop role playing like a lot of conventions have but we also have things like uh saber legion which is uh, like fencing with lightsabers uh we have um so they're gonna be back yeah they'll be back okay. and we have wrestling um we have some uh, some professional wrestlers yeah, that I, come and do a wrestling event i gotta tell you man for the, the belt the the evil canadian is terrifying yes he is the evil the, canadian. yeah Polite uh, you to death with the DDT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, excuse me there. <laughs> Wolf just going to Alabama oh. slam you right on the map. Oh, there. I didn't even see you there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we have our own Evercon belt that they fight for. Um, so excellent. That, you know, it's so cool. Uh, we've got a LARP. We've got, uh, there's just something for everybody. Um, we've got panelists and. Uh, all kinds of things. So we had some uh, bands cosplay. last year. Are you do you have any bands back this we year? We are we don't we don't have the lineup yet, but uh, we are hoping hoping to get some musicians here uh, to show up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am going to check that out for yeah. sure. So hopefully, um, so yeah, put in the comments if you want to see him at Evercon. See if we get enough people, maybe. <laughs> so. Uh, Tell us, uh, tell, let's see if we can do some specifics here. Okay. Um, so, uh, Evercon 2025, tell us about dates, um, maybe site location, um, admission price. Mm -hmm. um, so, the, the dates are February 28th through March 2nd. Um, and the um, a site, it's uh, Wausau, Wisconsin, Central Wisconsin uh, Convention Center. Uh, right That's out of Cedar Creek. in the winter than it was last year. Uh, no, That's last year it was January. Oh, maybe it was just that warm. End of January. But <laughs> so we used to be like right after New Year's. We used yeah. to have our convention. Um, and but it's I don't know if any of you know about Wisconsin and its weather in January. Um, not the most ideal time for a con. <laughs> um, but. You take your decided 100, you see, <laughs> and give it a roll. And that's the weather in Wisconsin. <laughs> right? At least for the next 20 minutes. And, <laughs> yeah. it, and it won't stop sliding on the ice until it hits Minnesota. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, um, you know, it's uh, 55 for the weekend. All right. Um, for full badge. Although we have brackets where that price is cheaper leading up to it once, you know. All right. So if you go and uh, buy your badge now, it's cheaper than it would be. Uh, at the gate, so is the sooner is the, the better. Is the gauntlet contest going to be back? Yes, the gauntlet. Thank you. Uh, so the Evercon. I, I was in it. The, I was in it last time. The Evercon so Gamers awesome. Gauntlet, where uh, like twenty people go in, 
uh, playing various board games, and it whittles down to uh, a winner, which Larry is not. So uh, I, I finished mid pack though. So okay. and the guy and the guy, the guy that ended up winning the whole thing, was at my table for the prelims every time. So the deck on. was a bit was stacked like, against was, you. Yeah, I mean, it was like what? So the the obviously what it meant is you had to beat me to, in order to. Get oh, that. you were the gatekeeper. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, they, yeah. And, yeah. and they did. So they deserved it. It's a good win. <laughs> the path to the championship the goes mid- through Larry. You were the mid boss. Right, right. You know, and well, and it's the the gauntlet style uh, that we we had. In, I know we've talked about it on the show, but as long as we're talking about it right now, just real quick. Um, you get 20 players, and the there's 10 possible games that could be played, uh, but you don't know what those games are. Oh boy! Until the night before. So, you, so yeah. you, so, and, so it might be, it might be a tabletop game you've never played before. Yeah. In yeah. fact, wow. Of the four that were selected, I only knew of one. Oh. <laughs> so well, the fact that you made it to mid then is pretty good. Because <laughs> yeah. some of these guys, because we release a list of possible games. Uh, before the con, so people can kind of like brush up on rules and things. Uh, but we, you don't know for sure exactly which of those games are going to be played. Yeah, I right. spent so, most of Friday like learning rules to three new games. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and then we got copies, and we just tried to play to like just kind of get half yeah. know what I'm doing when I get there. And then I'm in, I'm in playing one of these ones I've never played before. And we're just having a conversation at the table. Everybody was really friendly, even though we were competing. Everybody was yeah. really friendly, and uh, and I'm like, "So, do you, do you know this game?" And he goes, "Well, it's my copy." And I'm like, "Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you could say that." <laughs> so what you're saying is yes. Um, that's awesome. And and the 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 Evercon Gamers Gauntlet or Egg um, is it's a hundred dollar badge. So you pay you pay a hundred dollars. Okay. To get into the con and be part of this competition. All right. Um, so that is um, the, the incentive because with that, all that money, that extra money goes into the prize at the end. So oh boy, okay. Yeah. So so we're playing for stakes here. We're playing. Yeah. For, so for more than just bragging. Yeah. Right. Yep. We were so the last like good. The last cool. three people, <laughs> that money is split up between the last three people. In, Excellent. Uh, all right. In, in, incremental. Increases. So bring your A game, literally. Bring, bring your A game, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did okay, I think. You, you did fine. All right. Uh, w- oh, tell me about. What? It turned out the biggest reason I lost. They all knew about a rule I didn't. And it was like, uh, oh shit. So a likely game, story. Which game took you out? Um, really, it was a. Uh, I don't even know the name of it now. A, a, a Zool or. A Zool. Uh, it was it was like a tile game, yep. like I was selling tiles. Oh, I love Azul. <laughs> Larry, the textile it's a, merchant. It's a pattern game, like yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I mean, I I like I like those kind of games, and because it, it, it kind of reminded me of Splendor, or not mm-hmm. Splendor, um, uh, Sangrata. Okay, yep. It kind of reminded me of that with the patterns and you know mm-hmm. selecting tiles and things like that. Uh, there was another one called Patchwork, uh, which is just a two-player game, and you're making a quilt. Yeah. Uh, again, you're you're grabbing swaps. I've looked at that know. one. I haven't played it, but yeah. Yeah. Um. So I mean, there there are some similar games, but I was just like, well, it turned out there was this like one rule, and like, I had beaten everybody on like pegging, let's call it, you know. So in you game, what in game points, right? Okay. You know, pegging yeah. like uh, cribbage. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was, th- I was thinking something uh, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was like, oh, I realized I had to <laughs> no. clarify that. So, no. And so it was, it was, so I had gotten way ahead and everything, but then there was this, like, column rule I had no idea about, and all of a sudden I was, like, in third place. I'm like, what? Everybody uh, knows about this rule but me? <laughs> almost like, boy, this is almost too easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, there, there, there's the, ki- there, the penny oh, is dropped. Yeah, oh, 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 there it is. Um, can we find uh, details about this convention online or on social sure media? Can. Um, so evercon.org is the best way to do that. Um, we can find us on Facebook, uh, TikTok, most social media, but the um, all the bulk of the information you're gonna find right on evercon.org. Is the artwork theme up on the on the website? Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, last year, I I have approximately 16 million shirts. Literally, 
have 20 gallon totes of shirts. But I saw that artwork. 12 million of those are Lord shirts. Yeah, yeah right. So the, and I'm this like, design this was the, so cool. I was same like, artist. I have to get it. We had the same right. artist from this of the year before. Um, and he does such great work. And so Evercon started as um, a game club at a middle school. Wow. Um, very good. And the, it, it eventually grew to be too big to fit in the middle school. And then they sold it to um, some people to make it an LLC. Um, and then we bought it from them uh, five years ago. So um, it just keeps growing. And, you know, it's, that's uh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, and, but, but Dan Beasel, who did our art, was part of that first Evercon, is part of that game club that did that. So we just kind of keep him. Uh, he's an amazing artist and, and comic book uh, artist. So check out Dan Beasel's work. You just look it up online. I don't know his Dude, website, but same venue as last year. Same venue. Yep. Same bat channel. Same bat station. All it's that. kind of an interesting uh, repurposing uh, uh, that just as best as I and, and correct me if I'm wrong. That basically that was a like 80s mall and they converted it to a convention center. Yeah, it was a strip mall. Um, and then the end was a big like Thelma's bridal. You know, <laughs> uh, but then they they added some extra stuff to it to make it the convention center. But yeah, so um, it's a little different. It's one floor, so you don't have to worry about stairs so much. Yeah, so right especially on. if you've been drinking a little bit. Yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> what do you mean? We don't do that though. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are innocent. So. Anything uh, you, else you'd like to add before we wrap this up? Uh, no, I think we've got all the information. It's evercon.org. Um, you can buy your badges. Uh, you can sign up to run games, all that stuff. It takes you to tabletop um, for our uh, – that's where all, all of our stuff is through. Um, but, yeah, uh, come join us. Make this the best Evercon ever for 25 years. Evercon and Guys, Games, and Beer will be there. So you know it will be an amazing con. I think I think for me the uh, that end of February early March, um, I think that hopefully the timing will be great because usually that time of year there's nothing going on. It's just, yeah, just you're, it's thing. it's just a dead zone. It's of of nothing waiting for yep. spring to arrive or it's kind of the real to me the doldrums except of winter. For except, for, except for Gary Con, except for that. But the winter rim fair. I mean, oh yeah, there's a few things, but nothing as but, good but, as but, ever. Con. But I think it's a nothing. great it, it's a great way to. Um, you know, find something to do yeah. for that time of year where it's usually kind of blah to me. But yeah, very good. So, all right, all thanks right. for having me, guys. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, thanks for being on. Uh, we are continuing to be at Game Hope Con, uh, eleven, and uh, twenty twenty four, and we will see you in future interviews. <laughs>